<laughs> Hello and welcome back to Fantastic Fiber. As you can see, my air is still off and I am hot. <laughs> we are on Sunday now? Sunday night? No, I don't know. Yeah, it's I think Sunday it's... night. Yes, you're right. It is Sunday. Yep, Sunday night, Sunday evening. And it is still very hot in here. I am makeup list because I forgot my makeup off the truck. And I am sweaty because our air is still not working. But I do have an unboxing for you. I have Timu and I have Amazon. My shelves came in and I have, I believe this Timu has some yarn storage in it. Um, I don't remember, but anyway, we'll see. We'll find out together, okay? Let's see. We're going to start with Timu first. Okay. These are, these are, um... The zipper bags. Now, see, this is the one thing that I don't like about them. Everything is in plastic. So, we're going to have to deal with some plastic yelling for a little bit. Okay. My my question with these were, um, was, are they going to be big enough? Are they sturdy enough? And are they worth the money that you pay for them? Now, this was about $3. And... It is breathable, other than the plastic part right there in the front. Everything else feels very breathable. You can see right through it. Um, <clears throat> it is lightweight. I'm sorry, I feel like I got a bug in my throat. <laughs> would you like a drink? I would love a drink, love. I have some coffee here, you want that? Oh, I love coffee. Uh, and let's, the coffee. Um, let's advertise with this beautiful Disney mug. <laughs> <laughs> you hear that, Disney? You owe us. Okay, no, I am not sponsored by Disney or anything like that. I just want it to be funny. Hmm. Um, <laughs> that would be cool if I was, right? They, they would uh, probably be a good sponsor. Yeah. I don't know. How's that breeze feel? Can you feel That's the fan? Oh, yeah. We have the fan blowing on me right now. I'm sure you are quite jealous over there. Uh, no, no. <laughs> it's all for, you know, you're doing public. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so I would buy that. I think it's big enough for three dollars and it's probably sturdy enough for for yarn i'll tell you guys my my uh review on it later on because it'll probably end up on the truck with us yes most likely <laughs> okay now this was seven dollars and this one feels already i can feel the difference between the two Again, sorry about the plastic. I don't want to sit it on the floor. All right. Oh. Now, when they said extra large, I was like, it's Timu. Last time I bought something that was extra large, it was like a small. And I was not sure if it was worth buying from there ever again um, with, with certain items. This zips up. It does have like a little it feels like it's on there but the string and this says that it may not be um let me see if i can get that is that on there yeah there you go okay you got it <clears throat> so what i what i'm gonna do is i'm just gonna secure it down and sew it up but for seven dollars for the size of it And to give you an idea, I'm 5'4". So, it's it comes from my hips to my shoulders. Okay, so I would buy that again. That feels sturdy enough for $7 for yarn. If it, was, if it was laundry, like it's advertised for laundry, if it was definitely laundry, I would not buy that. Um, it, it's not sturdy enough. It doesn't feel sturdy enough. Okay, so then I've got, oh, I've got the same thing in a different color. This one is in dark gray. So I bought two of them, excellent. Is this, oh no, this is like the first one. Except this is the under the bed one. Okay, this is, <laughs> like, hey love. Yes. This is the under the bed one. Oh. And I did pick this for yarn, but if you look at that, it's got plastic on it. 
And plastic, as I'm finding out, is not good to keep your yarn in. Um, well, I kind of knew it a while ago, and I don't really store it in plastic, but um, I, I store most of it in tote bags. But I was hoping that this would have had like some kind of holes in it, something breathable, but it's not. So that, <clears throat> that will be used most likely for regular clothing. And then what else do I have in here? Okay, so I love, I love getting these from Timo. These are just, for a couple dollars, you know, these are, these are between five and eight dollars, depending on how many doodads you get inside of it. So if you like the regular boy hooks, these are just like them, just like them. Uh, the only difference I feel is somewhat in the weight or the paint of it, something like that. The texture of it is slightly different than the boy hooks, but they're, it's, it's the same shape. It's the same texture for the most part. And then you get like these, these little doodads to go with it. This specific kit was, uh, was $6. It was like $5.94. So, I love these, and I use them so often because I reuse different hooks, and I leave my hook inside my project bag, and then I go through different projects, and then I don't come back to it for a while, and instead of losing my hook, I already have one in the bag, so I have tons of those little things. Okay, and then I think this is the last thing. Yes, this is the last thing. I don't remember what this is. <laughs> oh. It's a nightgown or a t-shirt. It's a t-shirt. Oh, that's pretty. There you go. Yeah, hold it up some more. There you go. Sun and the moon. All right. So, and I, I did pick out, I think this was a large uh, medium. I did pick out a medium. I, I'm usually between a medium and a, and a small, but because it's Timu, I was not sure, so I went with the I went with the size that I usually am, like Walmart, which is a medium. Um, so that just tells you how their sizing is for this specific product. Um, they don't they're not all the same company. It's a whole bunch of other companies that are like kind of grouped in like an Amazon type of thing, but it's Timo. So if you never heard of them, my review on them is well, it depends on what you buy. You kind of get what you pay for. So. Um, I am happy with my products that I got. I know what I'm going to use them for. I'm not disappointed about the under the bag bed at all because like I said, I will use that for clothing instead of yarn. So that is for Timu. And then the next thing that I have, my shelving came in. So I have oh, a piece of fuzz that flew. I have a box in front of me. It has the shelving in it, and I don't know if it's in pieces or if it's all in one piece or how it's set up. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to open up the box, and we're going to find out together. Love, did you just did you just burp? I cleared my throat a little. Oh. I was trying not to. Like I'm trying <laughs> to stay quiet over here. But, yeah, I cleared my throat. Okay. I thought you burped. I was going to say, wow, you didn't even say excuse me. I'm sorry. Well, I, I didn't burp. It's okay. So. <laughs> you, you could burp. Okay. All right, so... It looks like it looks like a flip and fold together for each shelf. Now I got five in each box, and I bought two boxes before I knew what they look like. So <laughs> let's find out how this. Okay, it, it seems like it's pretty easy. You just like that. Click, and these hang from the ceiling. These are a hang, like an unfold and hang. <clears throat> huh. So I'll be able to put probably a good nine rolls of yarn in each one of these. I'm happy with that too. Let me see. Oh yeah, easy. I'm not gonna tear it down. I'm not gonna, I know I'm, I'm curious about it, but I think it should be about nine, maybe nine. Yeah, nine of them. Maybe uh, an extra, like if, if they're sitting back like this one is, then maybe an extra one in the front so I have a full ten. Because that's usually what I order in nine to ten of them. Okay, so that is my unboxing that I have for you right now. 
I have multiple going up this month. I am not going to post them all at once because there are too many of them. Um, so tune back in for, um, I, I'll have a Premier one, I'll have Lion Brand, I'll have Hirschner's. Um, and then I also have a Joann's one that I just put up last week. So, uh, well, it'll be last week by the time this one goes up. But right now it's Monday. <laughs> or to, uh, Sunday, I'm sorry. Right now it's Sunday the 23rd. 23rd, love? Uh, I will tell you in a second. Whatever Sunday it is, it is hot. It is We're, the 23rd. <laughs> it is Sunday the 23rd. And New Jersey is in a heat wave, as you can tell by my hair. <laughs> <laughs> You should not looking shiny like me. I'm sure I'm quite glistening over here. Oh, yeah. Yeah, you're probably, yeah, you're probably right. Because I can kind of see it in the dark over there with mm. this thing blinding me. Okay, well, thank you guys for tuning in. I hope that you enjoyed yourselves today. And I hope you don't mind my mess. I am in the midst of getting everything ready for these shelves to be hanging from the ceiling over here. So that I can have more space, more space around here. All right. Okay.